Kaya. Kaya Wanju, Nan Kuel, Salmon Forest, Burungo. I'm a Wajak Baladong Nunga with King Connections to Yamaji and Wongasa peoples. Kaya Wanju, Nija Wajak Nunga Buja, Wadang Monarch Buja. Hello and welcome to this place, the land of the Wajak Nunga on the Swan Coastal Plain and beyond Karawunda or the Black Hills to the east. We are the people of this land the people of the crow and the white cockatoo. Kaya Wanju Curtin University, Nidia Katanyuni, this place of learning. This land, Australia, the land where time began. Australia is the oldest continent on earth, the venerable elder continent. Australia has the Fink River, the oldest river on the planet. The oldest rocks, are here in Western Australia. The oldest known life forms are also here in Western Australia. Australia is also home to the oldest continuing human knowledge system and culture on this planet. Us, the first Australians, the first nations people of this land. As a Wajak Noongar person, I am of this land and place. I am of the antiquity of this place and the antiquity of the first peoples of this land. I was born to this land. I follow a bloodline of people who have lived, walked and cared for this land we know as Wajak Noongar Buja for over a thousand generations or 40,000 years. And our culture and knowledge of this landscape continue today even after the interruptions to our culture over the last 195 years. First Nations people from around the world refer to Aboriginal Australians as the first of the first peoples, the firstborn of all peoples. First Nations people as far away as Northeast United States have stories about us, about First Nations Australians. A recent visit to Aotearoa or New Zealand once again confirmed to me our status among all First Nations people. As human beings living on planet Earth, we are all, in a sense, custodians of Mother Earth while we are here. Mother Earth has a lot to say if you are willing to listen. However, we are the very first Australians and the first and continuing custodians of this land, Australia, which was, is, and always will be Aboriginal land. All of us here present, and beyond this place, we are here due to what has happened in the past. We are a consequence of what has gone before us. All Australians should seek to learn and understand the truth of our shared history. The contact and shared history between Australia's First Nations people and those that came later has not been that good. We have never, ever had the recognition we seek even as recently as last October's referendum. Welcomes to country like the one I'm giving you now, these offerings by elders like myself have always been one way. We offer you a welcome to our country. We invite you in, but generally there is no reciprocal response reciprocal active response. I now ask all of you here present as individuals or groups to reciprocate in an active way to my welcome. And this may include learning about First Nations people and our culture and the truth of our shared history, construct your own acknowledgement to country statement, be brave and call out racism. Watch a national indigenous television program once or more a week. Watch indigenous movies made by First Nations filmmakers. Attend First Nations public cultural events. Meet and talk to First Nations people and groups. Enroll in university electives about First Nations cultures including the one I teach, an on-country unit called 
on country learning, exploring Indigenous Australian knowledges. Kaya, Kaya Wanjo, Nan Kol Salmon Forest Burungu, Kaya Wanjo Nija Nala Buja, Wajat Nunga Buja, Nija Katnini Curtin University, Nala Kalich Nunga Mord, Kane Karat Nija Buja, Nan Kalich Nunga Kabali Borankoraye, Budawan, and thank you. I would now like to introduce the Mudich mob from Wesley College who are going to do a performance with you. So I'll introduce Tyrell, who's going to talk to you first and then play some dig. Thanks, Tyrell. Oh, Kaya, um, my name is Tyrell Sykes and I'm a, in year 11 at Wesley College and I'm part of the Murich Mob. The Murich Mob is a program at Wesley College that involves all Indigenous and Torres Strait Islander children from you know, pre-primary to year 12 when they graduate. We have nearly up to 50 children in, this, in the Murich Mob and we go out and do community events like this, do performances. We've done some for Telethon, we went to New York, Hawaii. Um, yeah, so it's a great foundation that Wesley College has built for the boys to express their culture. The first dance that the boys are going to do for you today is called the Spirit Dance or the Weir in Mitter. Um, this is one of our, this is always the first dance that we do to introduce the good spirits and get rid of the bad and create a cleansed area for you viewers, viewers to watch us dance and for the dancers to perform for you. Thank you.
Oh, those last two dances that we did is called the um, Kangaroo and Emi dance, or the um, the Yonka and the Wach. Uh, we do those dances to pay respects to our natural food sources, and when we don't only just use them you know, to eat food, but they also pay a lot big role in our culture. And we use the oils in our skins, and we use the Emi feathers in, um, in dances and cultural events. Uh, so this last dance that we're going to do is called the Yumbi. Um, I'm going to ask you guys to join in. I'm not going to ask you to come up and you know start busting the move, but I'm just going to ask you to clap along with the, the beat. And yeah, the boys hopefully show you some of the deadly moves to you. Um, but before we do that, we'll just do a quick practice. Uh, so just make sure you're clapping in time with the beat. We'll get faster and faster. The louder you clap, the more, the more moves the boys will do. So do a quick practice. I reckon that will do. We can get started. Thank you for thank you for your time. Uh, thank you for your time, and I hope you have a great day. Thank you, Simon and Mordich Mob. We were very lucky to have you with us here today. I'm Professor Paul Brunton, Deputy Vice Chancellor, Academic, and your MC for this official welcome. I too acknowledge the past and present traditional custodians of this land on which we are meeting, the Wajuk people of the Nunga Nation. It is a privilege to be standing with you here on Nunga Buja, and we sincerely thank you, Simon and Mordish Mob, for your warm welcome to country and wonderful performance. Having a welcome to country, or acknowledging a country, sorry, it's a bit windy, a standard practice for gatherings at Curtin is part of the way we recognize First Nations people as the first custodians of this land. It is part of Curtin's commitment to reconciliation. We all have a shared responsibility to reflect on our past and present as we walk hand in hand towards a future where their aspirations of us all, members of our community, are valued and supported. Curtin University is absolutely delighted to welcome you all here today. And I trust this will be the beginning of an amazing journey for you. It's now my pleasure to introduce our Vice Chancellor, Professor Harleen Hain, to give the welcome address. Thank you, Paul, and thank you, Simon, for your very gracious welcome to country. And I know on behalf of all of the students gathered here that we will all make a move to take you up on your very gentle invitation um, to reciprocate the very warm welcome that we've had today. Kaya, it is with deep respect that I also recognize that we are meeting on the traditional lands of the Wajak people, and I pay my respects to elders and senior knowledge holders of all indigenous peoples of Australia. 
In my view, I think we are so incredibly privileged to live on the land of the oldest continuing culture in the world. People have lived and loved and learned and laughed on these lands for tens of thousands of years, and I know that we have much to learn from them. I'm originally from the state of Colorado in the US, and right now I'm standing approximately 16,000 kilometers from home. But the blue sky and the red dirt of Western Australia feels very familiar to me. So I'm incredibly grateful for generations of people who have taken such care of this place for such a long time. Good morning, everyone. My name is Harleen Hain, and I have the privilege of being the Vice Chancellor of Curtin University, and I'm absolutely delighted to welcome you today. Um, I'm so pleased that each of you have decided to take the next step on your educational journey here at Curtin. Um, today, you'll become part of the Curtin community, and what you will learn is that what happens here on Curtin is much more than what happens in the classroom. Now, while it's terrific to have so many of you here with us in person, I know that many of your colleagues are also joining us online from our regional centers throughout Western Australia and also from our global campuses in Mauritius, Dubai, Singapore, and Malaysia. Now, when I first became a vice chancellor many years ago, my daughters were teenagers, and the best advice that they ever gave me was, remember, mum, a good speech is a short speech. So today, I'd like to honor that advice, um, but there are a few things that I would like to say to you um, during this orientation welcome. First, while you're here at Curtin, I challenge you to make great memories. The COVID pandemic taught me many things, but perhaps the most important lesson is how much we truly need each other's company. Over the days and weeks to come, I hope that you have the opportunity to meet many of your peers. I hope you find your soulmates here, friends that you will keep for a lifetime. I encourage you to choose your friends wisely, Pick people who will make you a better version of yourself, friends that you can laugh and cry with, friends that you can trust to have your back and keep you safe, friends who accept you just the way you are, but at the same time challenge you and push you to achieve great things. In addition to finding great people here, you will also find a range of clubs and sports facilities these high caliber extracurricular and co-curricular activities will allow you to meet even more great people. Participating in these activities is fun and it will also help you to, you to become a more confident, well-rounded and successful person. The worst part of university in my view is that it doesn't last forever. I know it's very hard for you to believe right now, but your time here at Curtin will be over in a heartbeat. So while you're here, make great friends, get involved, have heaps of fun, and create great memories. Second, I challenge you to be grateful. This year marks 43 years since I started university, and not many days have gone by over those 43 years that I have not reflected on how grateful I am for the education that I received. That education not only changed my life forever, but it also changed the life and the future for my children. So as you continue on your journey, I'd like you to take a few moments to reflect on how grateful you are. Your family, like mine, undoubtedly made important sacrifices for you to be here today. So today of all days, I encourage you to be grateful for your family. Now, in addition to your family, the taxpayers of Australia also make significant contributions to the cost of many students' university education to the beautiful facilities that we all enjoy. The best way to say thank you to the taxpayers of Australia is to make the best of this life-changing opportunity. Finally, I challenge you to be an amazing community member. Each of you who are here today represents the wide diversity that makes Curtin such an amazing community. You are Christian, Muslim, Jewish, Buddhist, agnostic, or atheist. You are male, female, trans, straight, gay, queer, bi, or questioning. You come from rich families, poor families, or families in between. You grew up in the city, in the suburbs, or in the country. You listen to pop, rock, rap, funk, beat bop, dubstep, classical, or jazz. Your diet is carnivorous, omnivorous, vegetarian, vegan, gluten-free, kosher, or halal. 
With all of this diversity comes endless opportunity to learn about the breadth of the world in which we live. I know that the most important things that you will learn while you're here at Curtin, you will learn from each other. You will learn that not everyone shares your views or your way of life. You will learn tolerance, acceptance, teamwork, kindness, and independence here. And those skills, more than any others, will make you happy and healthy, and yes, highly sought after by employers when you graduate. You're at the start of your career trajectory. Look around. The person next to you may be on their way to becoming a successful business owner, a software developer, a journalist, an engineer, a teacher, a lawyer, a scientist who discovers an alternative source of fuel or the cure for cancer. You may be sitting next to a poet, a philosopher, or a soon-to-be famous artist. But no matter where you find yourself in the future, today you share the common bond that unites us all. You have now become part of our wonderful Curtin community. Welcome, and I wish you all the very best for an exciting year. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much for your address, Professor Hayne. I would now like to invite our Deputy Vice Chancellor Global, Professor Zhaotian Zhang, to welcome all of our international students to Curtin. Thank you, Paul. Kaya, dear international students, welcome to Curtin and welcome to our beautiful campus. I take this opportunity to pay my respect to Wadiak elders who have been here before and who are here now as continuing owners and custodians of the land, knowledge, and culture on which Curtin University is established on. At Curtin, we appreciate the permissions and opportunities that are given to us on their lands for us to learn, reflect, and engage as a community. First and foremost, let me express my heartfelt congratulations to each and every one of you for making the decision to embark on this educational journey at Curtin. You have chosen not only a university, but a global community that values differences and celebrates the richness that each culture brings to our academic tapestry. Curtin has a unique presence worldwide, with campuses not only here in Western Australia, but also in Singapore, Malaysia, Mauritius, and Dubai. Curtin is not just a place of learning. It is a melting pot of ideas, experiences, and aspirations. As an international student, you're becoming a vital thread in the vibrant fabric of our global community. Our students come from more than 120 countries and regions. This university provides itself on fostering an environment that encourages collaboration, critical thinking, entrepreneurship, and creativity, transcending cultural and geographical boundaries. I understand that starting your academic journey in a new country can be both exciting and challenging. You may be experiencing a whirlwind of emotions, excitement, anticipa anticipation, perhaps a touch of nervousness. Rest assured, you're not alone. Each one of us, at some point, has stood at the precipice of a new adventure, just like you are today. Embrace this moment, for it is the beginning of a new chapter that will undoubtedly shape the rest of your life. So let us take advantage of this rich tapestry of cultures that surrounds us, engage with our fellow students, learn from one another, and build connections that will last a lifetime. The friendships you will form here will be as diverse as the countries represented on this campus, and there will be a source of strength, support, and inspiration throughout your journey. In closing, I encourage you to embrace this opportunity with an open mind, open heart, and a curious mind. Your journey at Curtin is not just about earning a degree. It is about becoming a global citizen, equipped with the knowledge, skills, and entrepreneurial mindset to make a difference in the world. So once again, welcome to Curtin. Thank you.
Thank you, Zhao Tian. At Curtin University, we are committed to partnering with students in their education and in decision making. We call this students as partners. It is part of a formal agreement between Curtin and the Curtin Student Guild. It's now my pleasure to introduce one such partner, Curtin Guild President Jasmine Tweed, to welcome you on behalf of the Student Guild. I too would like to acknowledge that today we meet on stolen land and sovereignty has never been ceded. I acknowledge the traditional owners of this land, the Wajuk people of the Noongar Nation, and pay respect to the elders past, present and emerging. This always was and always will be Aboriginal land. My name is Jasmine Tweed and I have the incredible privilege of being your Guild President. I'm a double degree law and human resource management student who after five long years of studying at this university like to think I know a bit about being a student here at Curtin. I know that you might all be a bit anxious about what you've gotten yourself into. Some of you have moved from a home country or the regions to Perth and might feel a bit isolated and alone. Some of you might be a parent who is going to have to juggle work and your children while studying. A lot of you are pretty fresh out of high school and are still recovering from the trauma that is year 12. You are not the first person to feel these things or have these concerns. There are so many support services available for you, whether you feel unsafe, stressed, or just unsure on what you're up to. I want you to know that your guild and this university should be there to help you. Now, while there may seem to be a great focus on your education and your future this week and at this place, University is about more than just getting a degree. University is about finding yourself. It's about new experiences and so much more than what happens in this classroom. It's a cliche, but I promise it's true. The best thing outside of the classrooms is the Curtin Student Guild. I might be a bit biased on saying that, but I truly believe it. You're probably wondering what a guild is. We're the heart of student life on campus, pr proudly ran by students for students. We host the biggest events on campus with O'Day, Bassam Malam and the Toga Party being the centre of so many students' memories here on campus. We have over 100 clubs and societies registered with the Guild, varying from the Accounting Association to Electronic Music Appreciation Society, from the, from the Crochet Club to the Curtain Film Production Society. There's sure to be a club that suits you, but if there isn't, start one with the support of the Guild. We also support you with the difficulties that you might face with our Student Assist Service, a confidential and professional advocacy service, completely independent of the university, able to help you with academic, welfare, financial or personal matters. Or even if you're just lost, in, lost where your classroom is, just pop by the Guild and we'll tell you where it is. We also run a lot of campus facilities where you receive a discount just for being a Curtin student and a Guild member. And of course, as your student union, the Guild represents you and fights for you against those who seek to worsen your experience as students. Sometimes that's the Federal Education Minister who decides that students should pay more for their education, or a government that isn't doing enough to help students feed themselves during a cost of living crisis. But sometimes it's the people sitting on the stage who have sometimes interesting ideas that we don't quite agree with. Remember, in the information overload you will experience this week, that you should have a life outside of study and the classroom. Be involved in something more. If that's volunteering, nominating to run in the Guild elections, or joining a club or society, make sure that you make the most of your university experience, do something different and make these the best years of your life. I hope to see you all on Wednesday when the Guild clubs and societies will be out on the promenade. Um, if you're more of a party person, the toga party is next Friday and it'll be a great intro to what it's like to go to a uni party. Welcome to Curtin and enjoy your orientation week. Thank you and I'll see you all around. Thank you, Jasmine, and thank you to all of you for joining us here today. We're so thankful that students from all around the world can come together and join us for what has been and will be an exceptional week and year ahead. One of the biggest strengths our Curtin community has is our commitment to each other and to navigating these challenges together so that we can make the most of the opportunities we have. Whether that's expanding our ways of thinking, meeting new friends or pursuing our goals. So please make the most of our week and the opportunity to connect with the new people, whether in person or in the virtual space. 
Curtin staff, your new to Curtin mentors, your first year advisors, your fellow students and your lecturers and tutors are here with you and will support you every step of the way. Make sure you look out for each other and your well-being while stepping into this exciting time of your life. If you have any questions about life on campus or the O-Week programme, please ask one of our friendly O-Week volunteers in the bright green t-shirts. They're all here all of this week to help you to settle in and find your way around, as are your first year advisors at the First Year Hub at Atkinson Forum. Make sure you find time to visit them and all of the fantastic activation zones around campus between 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. each day to enjoy activities, entertainment, free food and drinks and evening social events. Now you'll notice we're in the middle of a perfect Perth day and the weather is somewhat warm. So can I just encourage you all to remain hydrated and just take the advice of our volunteers if we have to switch things around because of the heat. Thank you again for joining us at this morning's official welcome. We hope you have a fantastic O-Week experience to kick off your journey as a Curtin student. Thank you.